these demonstrations are extremely relevant and I'm sure they have a very positive effect on the European Union institutions and on the European governments because the regime has submitted to the Iranian resistance to a campaign of misinformation. They say that this resistance, the PMOI, the NCRI, Mrs. Rajavi, they have no importance, they have no influence, they are a little group, and all these lies are completely dismantled when we see a demonstration like the one we are having here in Brussels today. Well, the regime is behaving in a very aggressive way recently. They have tried to organize several terrorist attacks, both, both in Europe and in the United States. Fortunately, the intelligence service has stopped all these attacks and uh, their uh, perpetrators have been arrested. Also, they have organized attacks to oil tankers in the Red Sea. All this aggressive behavior proves one thing, that the regime is desperate, they are under stress, they are extremely nervous because she is the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, which is now, until the day, we hope we can have free elections in Iran. Uh, she is the uh, legitimate representative of the Iranian people and of the wish for democracy, for freedom and for justice. And even if I am not Iranian, I am Spanish, I am European, I am not Iranian, but I say with pride when I speak about Mrs. Rajavi, my president. Today from Dublin I want to extend my uh, uh, gratitude uh, and support for the resistance movement in Iran, uh, the NCRI, uh, for the work which they are undertaking to uh, ensure democracy, human rights uh, and the rights of all men, women and children in Iran are put centre stage around the world. Uh, in May of this year alone I understand uh, that over 262 protests in 79 cities throughout Iran took place by people who were committed uh, from lawyers uh, to ordinary workers, trade union officials, uh, students, uh, uh, ordinary people standing up because they believed that the future should be brighter and that all people should share in a nation's wealth. Unfortunately, under the uh, current regime uh, in Iran, uh, that is not the case. Uh, but the light of human rights should not be distinguished certainly not by those who enforce brutality uh, on their own people. And therefore it is up to us in the international community, including places such as Ireland and within the European Union, to stand up and to give a voice to the people who remain in Iran and to those uh, Iranians throughout the world uh, who do their utmost uh, at all times uh, to ensure uh, liberty, freedom and justice uh, is one day brought to bear in what is a wonderful country, uh, uh, that being Iran. I also want to strongly condemn in the strongest possible terms the Revolutionary Guard uh, and their uh, antics uh, which extend uh, to human rights violations, uh, physical uh, and mental torture of citizens, uh, the financial abuses in conjunction with the supreme leadership uh, where uh, the IRGC are funding international military operations uh, and exploiting 
the natural resources of the Iranian uh, people. It's wrong on every level uh, and therefore it's important that we stand with the NCRI. We are proud to do that here in Ireland as parliamentarians both in the Irish Senate and in the Irish uh, Dáil, uh, the Parliament of Ireland, we will be moving a motion uh, again before the Senate uh, in conjunction with the NCRI in the coming weeks, calling for the Irish government uh, and all European governments to support the work of the NCRI to stand up for freedom, justice, democracy, equality for all in Iran uh, and to fight against the antics of the regime and the Revolutionary Guard. So this is a message from Ireland to the people of Iran, um, offering support uh, for their objectives of a free democratic Iran, where human rights are regarded as important, uh, where democratic elections can take place, uh, where people are not arrested for protesting, where people are not killed, like the 26 at least who have been killed recently, over four and a half thousand I understand have been arrested. Um, so from Ireland we would regard um, democracy as the normal uh, way of doing things. We have elections, we prefer to win them than lose them, but we are allowing people to have free and fair elections to elect the government that they choose and equally to elect a different government at a point in the future um, instead of that government if they're not happy with how that government has performed. Um, I think people in Ireland, in the Parliament, certainly look on at what's happened in Iran and are very sad to see such a large country, such a country with big financial resources with a lot of wealth in terms of oil, in terms of its people, in terms of its skills. Uh, but unfortunately, that wealth is being kept amongst an elite and many people are living in poverty despite the relative wealth of the country. Um, what happened in 1988, I think a lot of us are not, were not that familiar with, but the massacre of tens of thousands of people uh, for political protest is something that we would never uh, stand over and indeed would condemn. And to allow, to consider that people who have never been held to account for that, is not, in our opinion, uh, reasonable. They should be held to account for taking people's lives, for protesting, for killing people, for attacking people, for arresting people, for having, and ending up having them detained and arrested for many years. And indeed, thousands and thousands have been killed, as I mentioned. In, in terms of the NCRI and its 10-point democratic plan, I think people in Ireland are supportive of the idea of a plan for democratic participation. It's very important and support the work of the a uh, very valid NCRI movement who are um, looking for democratic uh, rights and, and um, looking for the chance to participate in a, in a real uh, functioning democracy uh, where people can vote for whoever they want to vote for. Uh, equally, I think it's, it's, uh, we acknowledge that the Americans and others have now looked at uh, the regime and, and effectively designated the IRGC as uh, an organisation that is not suitable um, under the Americans' remit, and they, they have decided that the IRGC is to be effectively outlawed. Uh, and, you know, they don't do that lightly. So there's obviously very valid reasons for that. And we do, I think, in Ireland, support the idea of democracy, support the NCRI in their, in their looking for democracy uh, and the participation of people in free and fair elections. And the sooner that happens, the better. dei diritti umani in Iran e la condanna alle violenze, alla libertà e alla vita di tante persone che ogni giorno avviene in Iran è un tema fondamentale, è un tema che riguarda le donne e gli uomini dell'Iran, in Iran e in tutto il mondo, ma è un tema che riguarda ognuno di noi, cittadini del mondo e dell'Europa, anche perché oggi l'Iran rappresenta un pericolo per la nostra libertà e per la nostra vita. Grazie. Voglio mandare un saluto di piena solidarietà e di grande auguri a tutti coloro che sono a Tirana e in tante altre città del mondo a sostegno della resistenza iraniana e della signora Rajavi. Il, la lotta del popolo iraniano per la libertà è una lotta che interessa a tutti i paesi, non certo soltanto 
agli iraniani, bisogna far capire a tutti i governi che tengono rapporti troppo favorevoli al regime iraniano che stanno facendo un danno al popolo dell'Iran ma anche ai popoli degli altri paesi, perché è un paese che esporta il terrorismo, che, eh, che tratta come tratta le donne e le, le minoranze non può essere trattato come un altro paese, occorre un grande sostegno alla resistenza iraniana e grande vicinanza a loro.